Yeah, just to tell you a little about um, the solid state overload relay, we had a problem at work where the this, this solid state overload relay was stripping. Even though, if you look on the dial here, hope you can see it, it sets at 16. Now, this setting tells the motor that once it exceeds the 16 amps, this is supposed to trip. But when we measured the amperage coming in, it was around 12 amp, and we we're wondering why it was tripping. Then we decided to measure the voltage, and then we realized that the voltage was unbalanced. There was an unbalanced phase there. And we decided now, since the phase is unbalanced, realize how sensitive the voltage was in fact the, the it was the voltage was out by about plus or minus eight percent which is interesting we didn't expect it to trip at that but it did trip at at that voltage so we called in the power company they checked and realized that the power coming in wasn't good it was an unbalanced phase and they corrected the the problem and so we're good to go but it took us a while and I said to myself um, you know I benefit a lot from YouTube videos so if somebody is out there and having this problem they need to know that if the phase is unbalanced these solid state relays which use CTs inside them they are very sensitive to a phase unbalance and then they will tell the device to open and shut down the the motor just to give you a little information on this overload here if you look to your right you'll see where it says class now those are the those two little buttons are little switches you use to set the the trip the trip class and if you set the trip class to to for example five then the motor will the device will open quickly if you set it at ten for example you have an artificial um cooling like a submersible pump you normally set it at um ten now class 20 is usually significant for general purpose application and if you are class class 30 class 30 is usually required for high inertia loads to help prevent nuisance tripping tripping every minute so you can set it at that and the dial as i mentioned before is used to set the amount of amperage you want for the this overload relay to open so once it sends the amperage you set and it exceeds it then it will open for example it's set at um 16 roughly so once it sells 16 15 amps then it is going to open this red button here to your left you can set it for manual and automatic um settings so if you want the motor to start automatically after cool down then you put it on a and if you want to manually um, start the motor if it's strip then you put it on m and the same button you use to 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 reset the device but they are very good um overload relays i, I think they are the best in my opinion but we just wanted to let you know that if you have any problem with these are very sensitive to um, phase unbalance 
and um, they are very good to have and use and once it's stripped it's, it changes the state of these I don't know if you can see it here these normally open and normally close contacts so once it's trip the state of these will change so I hope this video helps you and you benefit from this we had a hard time figuring out the problem so I said no doubt someone else may have the same problem and need to, to find out quickly how it's done so thanks for watching see you next time